Hi everyone, it's Sarah Crowley here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, with the 2023 season about to start, um, my training has just begun this week. I'm going to talk about all the cool things I used last year in my training and racing to help me get across the line. I guess the first thing I want to talk about is the stuff you don't see on the course. Um, this is the stuff that I use before and after training sessions and races to help me get through. Um, these are probably the main ones that I use. There's obviously some more nutrition and stuff, um, but they're the keys to me being able to back up every session um, along with uh, a lot of little physio exercises. But I pretty much live in these two-time view recovery pants. These ones go the whole way around my foot um, and that keeps the circulation going. So after like a big day, I think these are like an absolute go-to and a must for me. Um, and you'll pretty much see me in those 90% of the time around the house. Um, plus if it's real hot, I'll wear the recovery socks. Um, then I guess it's in theme with the recovery, it would be to put on Normatec Go or standard Normatec boots. If I'm in a hurry, I can stick these on straight away at the pool or wherever I'm traveling as well. So those are a must. They got all different settings um, straight around the calves, keep, keep things moving in the legs. Um, and then I guess prehab wise, I'm always using my thoracic back roller. Um, this is so important for me. I use it before every single swim, every single day. Um, to keep thoracic movement. Swim is my weakness. And so for me, it's so critical to make sure that I've got, you know, like really, really a lot of mobility in my upper thoracic. Um, I have a smaller roller that I also use. This guy I use for my calves, um, shoulders and everything else. So each day I go through a routine of um, some calf raises, some glute, glute holds, a um, whole heap of stretching. And these, these two follow me to the pool and to most sessions I use them before and after. So yeah, it's a massive tip. If you wanna get better at swimming, get better at mobilizing your back. So you're gonna need that stuff. Um, and then I guess for fueling each session um, and recovering and also making sure that I have the right amount of sodium and salts, I use precision hydration. It's no secret, I've been using this for years. Um, I'm luckily not a huge sweater, so the, um, the pH 500 is probably my main uh, tab that I dissolve in the fluid. Um, and I use that a lot because Queensland's pretty hot and we're sweating a lot. So um, it's an absolute go-to, always on the bike, always on the run, just pretty much everywhere I go, I have this bottle. Um, this year has been cool. We've had the new PF gel pack. Um, I try and use this one mostly for long runs. You can easily suck on it. Um, there's a little attachment you can put on here and use that to kind of like, you know, if you don't want to use the whole gel at once, you can just kind of suck on that. So it's pretty handy if you've got a really long run because it's quite compact and you can sort of stick it in a pocket or in your crop top or something. So yeah, absolute go-to. And another cool thing from PH this year was the new carb gel, um, carb chews, 30 grams of carb. These are great because they're actually almost like a Turkish delight. I might open one. But they're like this cool, fun little lolly you can just chew on during, ooh, there's a little dust. Um, yeah, but there's a couple of flavors there. You got mint and lemon. Um, yeah, totally cool. Adds a bit of uh, difference, you know, like, so I get sick of gels. So the uh, chewable, chewable pH uh, candies are a go-to for me. Um, yeah, and then on top of all of this, it's just making sure I do all those exercises and things, and that's pretty much my baseline stuff that I do as a minimum each day, um, using all of these things to, to try and keep ahead of, of all the fatigue, really. Um, next thing is we'll, we'll show you some of my swim stuff. Okay, so moving on to the swim, obviously togs are really important. Um, I am sponsored by Sailfish, however, they do do really great stuff. Um, in fact, before we go on, I do want to talk about that. Um, 
I usually will only accept sponsorship or chase sponsorship for things that I truly have used and believe in. And in fact, the wetsuit, which I'll get to, um, was one of those things. So for me, I found that the wetsuit was critical. I'm traditionally not a great swimmer and we've worked really hard on improving my swim. And one part of that is to make sure that the equipment I use in racing is suits me and works for me. And so I actually went through a detailed process when I went about selecting the wetsuit. In fact, I tested possibly 12 plus 15 maybe different wetsuits, different size wetsuits, different models of different brands. And we landed on Sailfish. And from then on, uh, you know, we, we cultivated a relationship. And then, um, yeah, now we work together as a partnership. It's been maybe three or four years. And that's the same across all of the things that I use. They're the things that work best for me. I encourage you to try some of this stuff because I find it great. But once again, I think with everything in triathlon, you should try things to see what works for you. But having gone through that process, I fully, fully endorse the stuff that I use because for me, it's been absolutely incredible and it's gotten me to where I am now. So. I think I'd like to say that before you sort of talk about all this stuff because, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's easy when you're loyal and you really, really, really appreciate the product to talk about it in this way. And so for me to take on a brand, it's not just as simple as someone coming to me, it's actually me uh, having, you know, a really great experience with, with each of the products. So speaking of, we move on to swim and for me, the swim togs that Sailfish done or my, do make and my favorite ones are the most basic but I really love togs that have a nice cross back and so for, for me these are my favorite togs I wear them to death this pair has traveled the world um, I have a few different pairs you will see them in all the videos and photos of me swimming but I yeah love these togs very comfortable fit no chafing um, yeah and they they get me through each day um, along with that and you know I've talked about this a lot, it is my form swim goggles. Um, I have been using these guys since they were developed and I basically use them every single day. And for me, I think the key thing that I love about them most is that they provide split by split every single lap feedback for me. And so it helps me to be able to pace really well in the pool. And I think having spent so much time during COVID overseas away from my squad, I don't know if I would have come back to the group as strong a swimmer, in fact, a stronger swimmer, if it wasn't for the pacing that these goggles actually offered me. So really stoked on them, use them every year, keep missing a million miles in the pool because it tallies every swim and I always 10, 20 k short at the end of the year, which is really frustrating, but this year I committed to actually making that up. Um, but yeah, love the form goggles and really recommend people having a crack at using them and seeing how they help, help you as well. Okay, then swim skins. So, um, Hawaiian Ironman, this is as vivid as anything. You'll notice I swim in a blue suit. It is the Sailfish Rebel. Um, really great suit. In fact, this is the suit that Jan, who, Jan Sibson, who owns the company, actually swam the fastest swim time ever at Hawaii in. So, really quick suit. Um, the top guys all came out in it as well. You see all blue and they come out of the water this year at Kona. So. Really great swim skin, totally awesome for any time you don't have a wetsuit option, get in one of these. Um, it'll hopefully give you PR. And then for me, the wetsuit of choice is the Sailfish Ultimate, Re Ultimate Pro 3. <laughs> Ultimate Plus, Ultimate IPS Generation 3. <laughs> But for me, the reason why this wetsuit is so rad and the reason I actually... Sailfish isn't a huge company in Australia. They've now launched into the US, so you can actually get them in the US. Um, but it's mostly a European company. But I scoured the world and read a lot and found that um, this suit had these extended side sections here in, in the uh, underneath the armpit. And for me, I have a, like a roll thoracic and it's it allows me to have a little bit more room. And with my straight arm swim stroke, it actually really gives me a lot more flexibility through my thoracic. So we're talking about it before, how I need to open up my back to be able to swim fast. That can all be limited again when you put on the wetsuit. So we worked really hard to find someone that made a suit that suits my upper body shape. And this, this wetsuit was the goer. So 
yeah, I've had really great performances out in the water in this one since and um, really encourage people to take on my experience of that and, you know, try a few different suits. But for me, this is the one. And um, yeah, I've just been rocking that for the last three or four years and absolutely loving it. Okay, so moving on to the bike. I have been riding on Canyon bikes now for, since 2017. Um, been an awesome bike for me and the team's been great. So we've done a numerous numbers of fit outs and setups and things. And so even since we've changed the new Canyon Speedmax CFR um, TT bike, um, we've, we've actually had a couple of sessions on the track and in the lab to make sure that my bike fits perfect. And uh, up here, you'll see there's, uh, you know, um, custom made arm, arm pads and things that help me get my fit absolutely perfect. Um, but working through the bike, I guess, um, I use zip wheels. Um, on here we have the new uh, zip hookless 858454 combo. Um, so they're actually running a, a uh, 28 mil uh, tubeless hookless setup. Um, so I've been just trialing that in the last few months. They're a brand new wheel. Um, it's been really great. You know, you go over bumps, don't feel it. No real stress about too many punctures. Um, they haven't had any drama at all with that. So these are my, at the moment, training setup. Will probably become a race setup um, once I get more used to it. Um, actually ran it in Kona as well. Um, we have on here the SRAM Red Access ETAP setup. Um, and it's got a really massive chain ring you'll see here. I actually run a 56 um, 43 tooth combo. So yeah, that's pretty big. But for me, I actually train at really low RPM and need a large chain ring for that. And um, yeah, we ride with a really low cadence and do a lot of strength work. So this is a great um, combo for me. I run a 165 crank because I'm short, stumpy legs. Um, you'll actually see on here I've got the Wahoo Speedplay pedals. Um, so that's actually something new that I've tried in the last couple of years and I'm really just enjoy it. And they're across all my bikes now. I'm really happy with the ease of clipping in with those. Um, yeah, and I've just got a Continental GB5000 uh, tubeless ready. Yeah. STRs, yeah, I need to check that. Um, and then in a race, yeah, we run either that or if we've got a hooked wheel, I sometimes run a Conti TT. Um, yeah, I guess. Right, show me the seat. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> so <laughs> this is the ISM Adamo, uh, ISM Road 2.0. Um, Favourite saddle used to be the ISM Adamo. Adamo Road, it used to be called just the ISM Adamo Road, but now it's the ISM Road 2.0 or something. So yeah, absolutely favorite. I've just been carrying that across for years on all the different bikes. I always use the same one, it fits me. I don't have too much drama at all with it. Um, yeah, never had a saddle saw really, so not gonna change anything any too quick. Um, and then on the front here, you'll see the, the bars, <laughs> the bars I was talking about. <laughs> Um, yeah, the uh, TT position that I can make having these new um, custom made bars for me. So that's the bike. I'm going to have to pass this off now. <laughs> <laughs> that was just so stupid. <laughs> okay, bike accessories. Um, obviously helmet, shoes, sunnies, socks. Um, for me, I have been with Oakley now for three or four years. Um, the ARO5 is my favorite helmet. It's um, a great fit for me. They always seem to have ones with pink on it, which matches my kit, which I really like. Um, but yeah, comfy helmet. Actually fits the sunnies quite nicely. Um, so I don't know, mostly when I'm riding, I'll we'll use these new kind of Kato things, but I, uh, they fit nicely, like a little wrap around and then uh, sit kind of cool because they fit actually inside the helmet without like falling out. So um, training, I'm always in this. You can see I've worn it pretty hard, this one. It's my favorite because it's pink. Um, 
But that's my favorite training helmet. Super easy, it's got the MIPS, got the BOA, comfy fit, safe as houses. Um, then for racing, I'm lucky enough to have the Oakley long tail helmet. There's only a few of these uh, going around, um, but as a sponsored rider, I'm lucky enough to have one. Um, I've tested both the short tail and the long tail. For me, the long tail's uh, slightly more aerodynamic, um, but you know, the short tail is actually a pretty good fit for me amongst compared to other helmets on the market. Um, and so in the tunnel, the short tail Oakley helmet has actually tested as good as any for me, and this one's slightly better. So yeah, we we make sure that everything, all the stuff I use is either, you know, it's, is, is the most aerodynamic, it's the best fitting, we get the best power. Everything has kind of a, you know, a reason. Um, so yeah, always really happy with stuff. I also use for that same reason, performance reasons, the, uh, Suplus Road 3.0. Um, this shoe, I actually also, they come with Solstar inner soles, but I actually, ugh, this might be gross because I've actually used these all year, but uh, yeah, we put a custom Solstar um, inner sole in there and that, that helps me maintain like the rigidity of the shoe and also um, to fit, if it's my foot even better. So. The reason this shoe is so good is because it actually has a carbon heel cup. There's not many shoes that actually do have that, so it's a very stiff and rigid shoe. Um, it also has two bowers, so it can be done really tight. So for Ironman racing, once you get into these, you're locked in and you, you transfer a lot of power into your shoe. So once again, it's also got the new Wahoo um, speed plane mount on the bottom now. Very comfy, love them, been in them for years wouldn't change a thing, um, super stoked. Um, I guess for data monitoring whilst on the bike, I use the, the Wahoo ticker, um, use that running as well. Uh, super simple, clips in, talks to everything that I have, happy with that. And the Wahoo Element Bolt, which is a super streamlined um, bike computer, fits really nicely on top of my bike setup. Actually, the Canyon has like a cool little bike computer mount on top of the tri bars so yeah this little guy tracks everything for me um couldn't live without it probably has more data pages on there than i actually know what i use them for but yeah really handy super easy very reliable bike computer and then i guess with the sunnies i have a range of sunnies but the particular ones i enjoy um riding in um I have to remember the name, the Encoder. These, yeah, so uh, the Encoder comes in a few different colors, but I'm really loving these new designs from Oakley because they have this clear nose piece here and this cool wrap around the top. So super comfortable, allows, you know, you can see every angle, um, especially when you're time trialing and you're looking down, you sort of look up through your roadie helmet. It's, um, yeah, they're really good. Um, and then, so there's quite, most of my sunnies that I choose for cycling. Um, Sub-Zero, etc., are um, usually don't have a frame across the top. Want to look cool. Um, the Sutros are always a good bet. Favorite color is gold, so you notice a lot of gold lenses for me. Um, and then when I'm riding, <laughs> I have my own sock now with uh, Sporks. It has my own little logo on it. So yeah, that's kind of my go-to sock, but um, with that, there's a lot of fun socks from Sporks these days. Got uh, many different designs, happy smiley faces. Always good to lighten it up. I think a lot of the kits now, like you cycle around, they're like super plain. So to have some fun socks that you know might show you up a bit better to cars is always good. In fact, that's why I always like to wear white helmets too. It's just like anything that keeps you more visible, it's like an absolute go-to. So white shoes, white, white helmet, anything that kind of helps the, the motorist see you, I think makes things a little bit safer. So I always think of that. Um, probably should use lights, but I actually don't use lights because I'm not often riding in the dark, but um, yeah, try and keep things nice and bright. Okay, 
training and racing shoes and attire. So um, once again, this is another thing that really it does matter um, personally what I use because it has an impact on my actual performance. I guess pretty much everything does, but particularly the race suit and your running shoes have quite a bit of an impact. So. For me, um, I've been with Hoka now for a couple of years. They have a great range of shoes. They're continually developing shoes. I'm even working on prototypes with the team at the moment. So I love that about the brand. It's like pushing itself to become better. And um, that is in line with me. I want to be the best. And, you know, I love working with companies that are really keen to keep improving and, and making their products the best on the market. So I guess here we've got progressively faster shoes happening. Um, for me, we go trail, I go speed goats. Um, so these are the speed goat um, shoe. It's a it's a it's probably an aggressive trail shoe, um, but I love them. They feel fast for me. Um, and I don't get to tra run trails too often, but one thing that works well, I do for me with the, and, and a reason for loving Hoka, and that's not just on a trail shoe, is that they actually have quite a wide base and I trip running a lot. And so what I've found is with a wider heel and wider forefoot, I don't trip as often. So um, total win for me with trail shoes um, and also, yeah, just general running shoes as well. Um, I like a light trainer, a tempo trainer. Um, and so, you know, for probably 40% of my running on the road, I'll spend it in these, um, the Mac 5, really pretty shoe, um, super smushy Profly plus foam in the top um, of the shoe there. I actually do put, for reference, I actually use a 5 mil drop extra in some of my shoes because I have uh, problems with my back and from, we find that if I have that in there and have that little bit of extra height, um, just don't have that issue anymore. So I run that in all my training and racing shoes. Um, these shoes all fit that and yeah, just makes for a comfy ride for me and less back soreness. So um, it's been like that my whole career and I've always run with that. So it's just something you didn't know about me, but um, the Mac 5, super pretty, really comfy, great for tempo running. Um, a shoe that I've raced and trained a lot in this year is the Rocket X. Um, it's my absolute favorite shoe over the past, you know, two or three years. It's like go-to shoe, really good. I use it for long runs, super stable, um, never any dramas at all in this shoe. And I've definitely raced in it a very, a lot. Um, and I think I raced in it all the way up until hmm, Santa Cruz last year. So yeah, it's, it's come along to the ride for a couple of wins. Definitely a really good shoe, maintains a lot of structural integrity. Um, and it has that, that carbon um, carbon in the sole as well. This shoe is, you will have seen it in a lot of us pro athletes running. It's new, it's coming out next year, I can't name it, but here it is. Um, love this shoe. It's what I raced in in Kona, I raced in Santa Cruz, I raced at Obuso. It's definitely on the level of all the super shoes out there. Watch stores because this guy's coming and tell you Hoka's coming for you, the other brands, it's quick and it feels bloody great. So excited about this um, and there's going to be more Hoka's like this coming. So yeah, definitely watch this space for fast, very fast super shoes coming from Hoka in the near future, um, which is super exciting. Um, suit, um, two times use suit, um, rocking my regular colours. I love blue and pink. Um, I think it's kind of got that edgy but fun sort of colour kind of scheme going with it. Um, yeah, pretty standard sort of suit going. Um, lots of pocket spaces and everything else. Got all the brands on it. You will see me a lot of times in this suit. Can't see me now, but you'll see me there. There we go. Um, yeah, great suit from Two Times You. One thing that, I mean, we probably don't talk about a lot of is what we wear under the suit. I actually wear uh, this Two Times You moisture wicking super thin crop top. Um, there's literally nothing of it, but it's actually doesn't hold, like it's, I'm really specific about this stuff. And what I found with this particular um, two times you crop is that it doesn't hold a lot of water, but it holds me in place. And that's like a really good combo because some crop tops are quite thick with the material they use, but this one you can see it's like see-through almost. And um, yeah, like just really, really thick, strong band and everything else. So it holds me in place, but it also, 
doesn't <laughs> take half the ocean with me when I'm racing. And so, yeah, and we're lucky as girls that can also be used as like a little shelf in there for some ice and everything else. So it keeps me cool as well. Um, and then I guess some other little things um, along the same lines, this PH hat that I use, it's Boko hat actually, Boko gear, um, is really thin, but actually also uh, holds ice and, and water for me. So I will always go with a really thin, as thin as possible run hat. And once again, white to take away a lot of the heat. Um, that's the same reason for the white on my suit, the white on my helmet, the white on my shoes. It's visible and it also helps with heat. Um, very basic race belt. Got to have one. Everyone makes them. Um, and my watch, the Wahoo Element Rival, it does triathlon, does open water swimming, it does running, it does bike, it does trainer. You can actually control your trainer with it. Um, it has maps on there now, small maps. Um, yeah, super cool. Can control your headphones and your music from it. Um, and I think the good thing about the Wahoo watch that I've really enjoyed is that it's super easy to use. It's like basic and pretty straightforward. So once you get the hang of, of it, it's like there's no real complicated functions that are like totally confuse you. But I've always found, with, particularly with running, when I want to see numbers, I just want to see the numbers. I don't want to be faffing around with all different screens and everything else. So that's the one thing I really love about the Rival is that it's just so straightforward to operate. Um, it does have heart rate as well, so less accurate, better to use the, the heart rate chest monitor, but um, that will also, the, the ticker will talk to this. So yeah, pretty straight, pretty simple, but a great watch, like real good quality, lasts forever. Um, and yeah, it's been giving me splits all year, so we're working towards a goal and this thing's always there with me um, to tell me the time. <laughs>And so it's not always bright and sunny outside on the road. And obviously we all have to therefore train indoors sometimes. I'm um, really proud and happy to be associated with the Wahoo Fitness. Um, the, the ecosystem of products is amazing. It gives so much good feedback on everything. And considering I spend probably 40 up to up to 80% of my week sometimes on the indoor trainer. You really want that to be a fun experience. Um, and so these guys have got it covered and you know, there's been some great developments as well in the products. Obviously we're really all familiar with the Wahoo Kicker. It was one of the first uh, direct drive um, controllable trainers that was invented. And you know, it's an absolute staple. We must have a lot of the training is done on this bad boy. Um, and with it comes the kicker climb, which makes, you know, sort of using some of the online training programs like super fun because you can actually, you know, enjoy the, the uh, contour of the, of the topography a little bit more with one of these. Um, but lately, you know, the products have developed a little bit more and we've got the kicker bike now, which is um, something I definitely use for spin up. So, you know, if my coach gives me a treadmill session and, uh, you know, 30 minutes or one hour spin afterwards, I jump straight on the kicker bike and it's super comfy, um, really, you know, it's super easy to use. It's set up for me, matches my bike fit setup. So I'm like totally comfortable that I'm not going to have some weird injury or something. It's like perfectly fitted to me. Um, yeah. And then, the one thing I've started using a lot of in the last year or so is the um, the Wahoo Kicker rollers. Um, I find they feel like really cool, like pretty much the road. And so I think maybe it's the way I ride with a bit of movement in my hips. But for me, I was able to sort of feel a bit more normal and generate even more power on those. So yeah, I've been using that quite a bit, especially when we've been traveling. Um, got a set over in the US and, and a set back here in Australia. And yeah, just really enjoy the experience of the indoor trainer with these cool products. You've got the kicker fan and everything else that keeps you cool. And you can have like the most insanely cool indoor training experience. Um, and so I guess I sort of see it, there's road riding and now there's indoor riding. And if you make the indoor riding, it's not like, oh damn, I have to go ride indoors. It's like, oh, well, I'm gonna ride indoors because it's fun. Um, yeah, it's a great experience. And sometimes I actually choose indoor over the outdoor, um, just purely because I want to get in, in the zone and train in my little training cave. So yeah, love these guys, love the innovation. They're constantly improving and developing new products and I can't wait to see what's next from Wahoo.
So I literally think we've pulled out absolutely everything that I use. Um, maybe some honorable mentions would go to two times you travel socks. I use them on planes. They're really great for keeping up the circulation whilst traveling. Um, high price range of products, I'd say the normal tank full length boots. You didn't see them here today, but they're also used pretty much every single day. Um, something I have on my feet right now that most people see me in all the time are the the Hoka, Hoka uh, hike boots. I don't often wear slides, but I've been wearing the Hoka slides around the house. You won't see me wearing those in public. And yeah, I think that's pretty much the whole set. Swim cap, form, sailfish, you'll see them in videos, but basically that's everything. And yeah, look, I really have a lot of faith in these products. I may have faffed up today and forgotten the names of a few of the sunnies and stuff because there's a lot of different products here. but. It's like literally rinse and repeat for me. If there's something that works, we go with it. There'll be new developed products this year. I imagine we'll test them, but you know, we try and stick with things we know. And I'm really grateful for everything that I do have. And I encourage people to have a try of some of my stuff. If not, go out, explore things, find what works for you. Um, it's been really great having you all watch this video. Um, and yeah, not paid to do it, paid by the sponsors, but not paid to do this video. Um, I will link and list everything that we have used and shown today um, and really encourage you all to comment here and tell me what you like, what you don't like and what you want to see more of and any questions you have about any of this stuff because I'm more than happy to share. All the best for 2023. Can't wait to see you out there. Good luck and happy training. <laughs> so many things. <laughs> Now I'm going to pack it all away. <laughs> <laughs>